Bake. Welcome to another episode of Quick and Bake. Today I really wanted to try to make some Frankenweenie cookies. If you don't know what Frankenweenie is, it is a Tim Burton cartoon that just came out. It has to do with a dog who comes back with electricity just like Frankenstein. I'll provide some pictures for the two dogs that I'm going to create today, but I really wanted to try it. So let's go ahead and prepare our sugar cookie batter. So I'm going to be creating two of the dogs from Frank and Weenie. I'm going to be creating Sparky, which is the main character, and Persephone, which is his little girlfriend bride of Frankenstein dog. So the cookie cutters that I'm going to use are a ice cream cookie cutter. I also found this, I think it's a Christmas a uh, Christmas light cookie cutter that can work as well. A star cookie cutter, which is going to be for the ears. This tiny little oval cookie cutter, which is going to be for Persephone's ears. This one is also a Christmas cookie cutter, but I can't think of the name. It's a leaf. Um, but we're going to use this for, for Persephone's hair. Okay, so I'm going to start with Persephone first. We are going to use the ice cream cone cookie cutter. So not put it upside down. We're going to cut this out. And we're going to place this cookie onto the cookie sheet. Then I'm going to cut out a portion of her hair. Before I place this onto the cookie sheet, we're going to grab the ice cream cookie cutter again and cut off the bottom portion of this. And we're going to just go ahead and fit the remainder on top of her head, like so. And we're going to kind of squish them together so when they bake, they are all one cookie. This next step is optional. I have a tiny little cookie cutter. It does already kind of look like the shape of her head, but I'm going to try to add ears because she did have ears. So I'm going to cut out two of these tiny little uh, oval shapes. So I have those ready. And then same technique as the ice cream, we're going to cut a hole right here and that fits perfectly for her ear. Okay, so now I'm going to use this Christmas light cookie cutter for Sparky's head. So let's go ahead and cut out one here. I forgot to mention I'm using also a circle cookie cutter because Sparky's head is round. We want to get rid of this edge, so just use the circle cookie cutter to cut off the excess of Sparky's head. So we can just cut this off. So now for Sparky's ears, all we're going to do is use this star cookie cutter. Cut out the star. You only need two of the edges for the ears, so what we're going to do is just Grab your circle cookie cutter again and cut out two for the ears. And we're going to place this, if we can grab it, we're going to place this on top of Sparky's head. Actually, I think it will be better if we separate the two. So let's separate. Once you're done assembling the cookies, you should have something that looks similar to this. And now we're ready to bake. Now that your cookies are done, I went ahead and made some royal icing. If you need help on making royal icing, I will annotate out to a video which will show you how to do. All right, so now for the fun part, I get to decorate these cookies. My icing is all ready. I have the thinner consistency right here and the thicker consistency on the right. Now all that's left to do is just cut a tiny hole in the bottom of the baggie and start piping. I'm starting with the white icing, so I'm piping in all their eyes. Then I'm moving on to Persephone's hair. Just like the Bride of Frankenstein, she has a white piece that goes up each side of her hair. Next I'm moving on to the thicker black icing to do Sparky's ears and to outline Persephone's ears and hair. Then I go in with the thinner black icing and fill it in. Now I use a thicker gray icing to outline the face. Then I grab a thinner gray icing and fill it in. Sometimes I needed to use a toothpick to move it around evenly. Same technique goes for Persephone's face. Outline with thicker gray, fill in with a thinner gray.
Then I use the thick black icing to do their noses. I also use the thicker icing for Sparky's eyebrows. So now I'm gonna grab this black gel icing and put a little bit on this wax paper that I have. I have a tiny, clean paint brush. So let's go ahead, put some of this gel food coloring on the wax paper so you don't have to keep dipping. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the scars that uh, Sparky has on his face. So we're just gonna paint it on with the food coloring. Now this is when your cookies are completely dry. So let's just paint on the scar. It goes over his nose. So it's like this. Let's grab some more. And then four little marks like that. So let me do that for the rest of these sparkies. All right, so now that we have a scar done, I'm going to add the centers of the eyes. So their eyes are really tiny, so just a tiny dot of black in the center of their eyes. Like that. Also, if you want to go a little bit crazy, you can add some dark circles around his eyes. So I'm going to try it for one of these. Let's try to make some really rough Tim Burton style lines around his eyes just because his eyes are dark it was a black and white film so let's see how it looks just to add a little bit of dark circles around Sparky's eyes all right so now we can move on to the bride of Frankenstein or Persephone I think that's her name Persephone Persephone I might be saying that wrong and her eyes are a little bit smaller but she does have little eyelashes, so I'm going to do the eyelashes first. She has three. One, two, three. Once you've done the eyelashes, we can now do her pupil, which is a very tiny eye. She does have an eyelid, uh, but I'm not going to include that in this just because it is really small. So let's just make the dots of her eyes, the white of her eyes. So again, I think I like the dark circles around her eyes, so let's go ahead and do that for all of them. Just for a little added texture, I'm gonna go in and make some markings on his ears because I wanna make it a little more linear. So this is a real optional step. You don't have to do this. I'm just having too much fun. Once you've done that, you now have Sparky and Persephone cookies, the doggies from Frank and Weenie. So I hope you guys try this out yourself. If you do, be sure to tweet me a picture at IHasCupquake or you can send me an email at iscupweek at gmail.com. I really had fun doing these. I wanted to do something current and Halloween-y, Franken-weeny. Um, so be sure to suggest something for next week's episode of Quake and Bake. Something Halloween-y. Just keep it Halloween-y, Franken-weeny. I just like saying that word. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Cupquake and I'll see you all later. Bye!